Welcome to Tesla Global, the home of the latest Tesla news. Today we take a look at Tesla Giga Berlin's 4680 battery factory is coming together, also looking at, Tesla's 4680 battery offensive in China hits the accelerator pedal and finally, Tesla's 4680 battery cell pilot production line hits 70-80% to yield. Let's get into the video. Tesla Giga Berlin's 4680 battery factory is coming together Tesla Giga Berlin's battery factory is beginning to take shape as the first walls of the building were erected on site earlier today. In 2019, Tesla announced that it would build a new vehicle production facility in Europe, and it would be located in Brandenburg near Berlin. Labeled as Giga Berlin due to its close vicinity to the city, the company plans to use the factory to supply its vehicles to European customers, where electric cars have been adopted most frequently compared to other markets. The site is set to begin manufacturing vehicles later this year as the main production building where assembly will occur nears completion. As vehicle production looms at the site, Tesla's contracted construction crews now turn their attention to the battery manufacturing plant that will produce the new 4680 structural cells that the automaker unveiled in September 2020. After receiving preliminary approval to build the site earlier this year, the battery factory is beginning to take shape, according to new photographs shared by a GF4 Tesla on Twitter. Tesla has not received main approval for the battery factory quite yet, but German authorities only grant preliminary approval to projects that have a substantial chance at being ultimately approved. The project has already gained rumors of financial support, according to a report from Tagesspiegel. The German media outlet reported that Tesla could receive up to 1.135 billion euros from the Federal Ministry for Economic Affairs and Energy, as the project could be included in the EU's important project of common European interest, IPK, initiative. Because the plant will be ready to build vehicles before the 4680 battery lines ramp, Tesla will send cells from the Cato Road facility in Northern California to Germany to support the production of the company's electric vehicles. As of now, the 4680 cells will be included in the initial Model Y builds that will first roll off of production lines at the facility. Upon completion, CEO Elon Musk expects the facility to be one of the largest battery manufacturing plants in the world. During the 2020 European Battery Conference last November, Musk said, I think it will be the largest. It would be capable of over 100 gigawatt hours hours per year of production, and then possibly going to 200 to 250. I'm pretty confident at that point it would be the largest battery cell plant in the world. To support the current demand for Tesla's vehicles in Europe, the company has been exporting builds of the Model 3 and Model Y from Giga Shanghai in China to Europe. The export of these units may begin to decrease as Giga Berlin picks up production, which could supply the European market with up to 500,000 vehicles annually in its first year. Tesla's 4680 battery offensive in China hits the accelerator pedal. Tesla is looking to find more suppliers that will manufacture its 4680 battery cell in China, with reports that the automaker is already negotiating with several battery companies in the country, according to Chinese media outlets. Tesla unveiled its 4680 battery cell in September 2020, aiming to create an F battery capable of more range and power in a longer lifespan. Tesla has reportedly been producing the cell at a facility near its Fremont plant in Northern California known as Cato Road. Tesla has not yet deployed the cells in vehicles that customers own, the company has said. The first vehicles to utilize the new 4680 cells will be the vehicles built at Tesla's upcoming factories in Berlin or Austin, Texas. Because Tesla is working to deploy the cells in some of its most popular vehicles, like the Model Y, it is attempting to secure manufacturing contracts for the 4680 battery now, so it is available later. Tesla was eyeing contracts with Samsung SDI and LG Energy Solutions for 4680 production, according to a report from the Korea Herald in mid-July, with suppliers Panasonic and Cal likely already lined up for manufacturing efforts. A new report from Chinese media site 36 Krypton indicated that Tesla is now eyeing Ning to Times, LG Chem, and Ewe Lithium Energy for contracts that would allow for 4680 cell production. A person familiar with the matter said the negotiations are in the early stages, and mass production will begin in 2023. Ewe is known for its LFP battery technology, which Tesla uses in the Chinese and European regions. However, it introduced the pack to the North American market for the Model 3 last week. Director of Basic Materials and Technology Research for Ewe, Ji Yajuan, said that the company had deployed two major models of 4680 and 4695, with plans for the batteries to be promoted into the market gradually after 2023. More companies are reaching out to Tesla for the opportunity to lock in a 4680 contract, via 36 Krypton. 
a source revealed to 36KR that Ningda Times, LG Chem, etc. are also negotiating 4680 battery cooperation with Tesla in China, and Bach Battery, which has always adhered to the cylindrical route, has also taken the initiative to find Tesla. Tesla's production of the 4680 battery cells at Cato Road will likely fill the company's supply sheet for the foreseeable future. The plan has been to transfer cells from Northern California to Berlin and Texas when the plants are ready to begin production. Until then, Tesla will likely continue to line up suppliers as its production and delivery figures near 1 million units annually for the first time in company history. Tesla's 4680 battery cell pilot production line hits 70 to 80% yield. Tesla has a number of programs that have the potential to change markets, and one of these is arguably the 4680 cells. Created using a dry electrode process and optimized for price and efficiency, the 4680 batteries could very well be the key to Tesla's possible invasion of the mainstream auto and energy market. If Tesla pulls off its 4680 production ramp, its place at the summit of the sustainable energy market would be all but insured. Unfortunately, Tesla's publicly disclosed target for the 4680 cells production ramp appears to have been made on Elon time. This means that during battery day last year, Tesla's target of hitting a capacity of 10 gigawatt hours by late September 2021 included some optimistic assumptions. Similar to other projects like Elon Musk's Alien Dreadnought factory, however, the pilot production of the 4680 cells have met some challenges. Tesla admitted to these difficulties during the Q2 2021 earnings call, when Elon Musk explained that one of the main challenges in the 4680 cell production ramp was related to the battery's calendaring, or the process when the dry cathode material is squashed to a particular height. Partly due to the use of nickel in the 4680 cells, which are extremely hard, some of the calendar rolls end up being dented. This was an issue that presented itself only in the pilot 4680 line, not during the bench and lab stages. Tesla senior vice president of powertrain and energy engineering Drew Bolino, however, emphasized that the challenges in the Cato Road facility are an engineering problem and not a science issue. This meant that with enough work and optimization, Tesla should be able to address the calendaring issues of the dry battery cells. Citing sources familiar with the matter, Tesla investor and host of YouTube's hyperchange channel Galileo Russell recently shared some details suggesting that Tesla may have hit some breakthroughs with the production of the 4680 cells. As per the Tesla investor, the production yield of the 4680 cells has reportedly risen to about 70 to 80%, up from just about 20% last year. This means that a decreasing portion of the 4680 cells produced today are seeing issues, and Tesla's pilot battery line at Cato Road is starting to close in on the acceptable yields of factories like Giga Nevada. While the delays in the 4680 cells appear to have affected the rollout of products like the Cybertruck and the Semi, it is starting to become evident that Tesla is about to hit some respectable battery output from its pilot line in California. Fortunately, the company has already initiated some contingencies that have addressed the 4680 cells delays. The production of the Model Y in Giga Berlin and Giga Texas would be launched with 2170 battery packs, for example, at least until the 4680 cells are available. Do you think Tesla will have the Berlin plant running by the end of 2022? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed the video then please leave a like and if you are new please subscribe and help us to 5k subscribers.